While flying for the U.S. Army Air Corps in World War II, only two native-born American women pilots of Chinese ancestry became women Air Force service pilots, WASP as they were called. Maggie G survived the war, but Hazel Ying Li Louie did not. She was one of 38 women pilots who volunteered and died while flying for the Army Air Corps. Let me tell you her story. Hazel was born in Portland, Oregon's Chinatown in 1912. Her father and her mother, along with two children, arrived in Portland in 1910. The rest of their eight children, including Hazel, were born in Portland. After graduation from high school, Hazel got a job in the stockroom of H. Levis and Company. That was a women's clothing store. Soon, she became the company's ever-smiling elevator operator. They loved her. American Chinese at the time were outraged when the Japanese army invaded Manchuria in September 1931. Worldwide, they collected over $20,000 to fund flight training in the United States for pilots who would fly and fight for China. The newly formed Chinese Flying Club of Portland, Oregon began accepting memberships. And of course, 19-year-old Hazel Lee was one of only two women to sign up. All members were required to sign a pledge that, if needed, they would forfeit their life for China. And without hesitation, Hazel signed up. She earned her pilot license in October of 1932 and left for Shanghai in March of 1933. There, she joined the National Government's Air Force along with Clifford Louie, a fellow flying club pilot and her future husband. Oh, I have no elaborate plans, she said. I'm going over to see what's what and do what I can to interest others in aviation. Well, you can only imagine how angry she was when the Chinese authorities wouldn't let her fly. Not on combat missions, anyway. But they did allow her to fly important cargo and important passengers. Six years later, in November 1938, Hazel returned home from that endless war in China. She had seen terrible terrible devastation, and for the next few years she helped secure food, clothing, and medical supplies for the desperate Chinese. Her WASP training began in February 1943, and Hazel quickly became a favorite with all of her classmates. They voted her one of the best-liked pilots in training at Avenger Field in Texas. When a reporter asked about that popularity, well, she modestly told them that everyone is just as popular as anyone else. After graduation in August 1943, Hazel began her assignment with the third ferrying group at Romulus Army Airfield outside of Detroit in Michigan. Then it was on to training in Brownsville, Texas, where she quickly mastered every one of the fighter aircraft. Oh, there's nothing I can't fly she told a reporter. After pursuit school on October 9, 1943, Hazel and that Clifford Louie got married. But they had just nine days together before he returned to the Japanese front in China. Hazel remained in the United States to ferrying planes for the U.S. Army. Late in November 1944, Hazel was flying a P-63 King Cobra from its New York factory to Great Falls, Montana. From Montana, you see, male pilots would then fly that airplane to Alaska where Russian allies would pick them up and fly them back to the Soviet Union. On Thanksgiving Day, November 23, 1944, just after two in the afternoon, Hazel was on final approach to Great Falls Army Airfield. 
It was a busy day for air controllers with many airplanes taking off, landing. And while Hazel was on that final approach, Lieutenant Charles Russell was making an emergency landing in his P-63 without control from the tower. You see, Russell's radio wasn't working and he didn't see that Hazel was below him. When the controller saw the impending collision between the two aircraft, they ordered both pilots to pull up, abort their landings. Russell couldn't hear that order, but Hazel immediately did what she was supposed to do, pulled up and smashed into the belly of Russell's descending plane. There was a loud explosion and a huge fireball as the aircraft fell to the runway. Russell managed to get out, and he ran to safety with minor injuries. But Hazel, oh poor Hazel, was knocked unconscious and trapped on the ground in a burning airplane. They managed to pull her from the plane, and her smoldering flight suit had to be removed. She was rushed to the base hospital, severely burned and in critical condition. She briefly regained consciousness and suffered terribly for two days before she died. But she never complained. Because she was Chinese, officials at Portland's Riverview Cemetery at first opposed her burial, but Mabel's sister, Florence, convinced them that refusing the burial would bring them a whole lot of bad publicity. So, on December 1st, 1944, after a morning memorial service, Hazel Ying Li Louie's family buried her in a vaulted gravesite overlooking the Willamette River. Just three days after Hazel's death, her brother, Corporal Victor Lee, also died. He died in France under heavy German artillery fire. Victor would remain in France until after the war. In September 1948, he finally came home to a military burial and now rests beside his sister at Riverview Cemetery. Of the 1,074 women who flew as wasps, 38 young women never came back, never had a future, and never heard their country say thank you. Hazel Louie was one of them. I hope you'll join us again next time when you and I and everyone else go history snooping together. Have a great day.